Um, apparently, uh, the use of tablets has tripled amongst 5 to 15-year-olds since 2012. Uh, and a quarter of all infants now aged 3 to 4 now use a tablet computer at home. We're fighting a sort of growing problem, aren't mm. we? They've got these things and therefore it's hard to get them off them to come to oh, the definitely. table. And there's a study in America recently that said I think two-thirds of children between the ages of three and five can use a tablet, but only 14% of those can tie their shoes. Mm. You know, I mean, that's ridiculous. It's an issue. The, the shoe, the, my, my children are nine and seven, but the shoe, I think the shoelace thing is a, dif a different thing, though, compared to when we were kids. Manual dexterity, yeah. Yeah, manual dexterity, but also because, actually, the advent of... Velcro and, and, and the accessibility of Velcro, the majority of their shoes don't have shoelaces. Mm -hmm. So that boys have learned. I think one of the interesting things we were talking about this earlier was actually this has kind of snuck up on everybody as well. You know, televisions and, and these tablets and phones, they've suddenly, they've suddenly snuck up on, and, and we're suddenly aware, like um, Susanna was saying, the, the usage has grown dramatically. And without you realising, suddenly your kids are using it everywhere and, and they get very addicted to it. Yes, I mean, well, first I'd say it's the same issue our parents had with television, right? I'm sure your parents rationed it in, in your houses. My parents, it was an hour a day when we were in primary school, and it was very carefully monitored, and it was never in front of dinner. You know, and I think that's a really important thing, is separating meals and making sure those are social times. And, and the most important thing is leading by example, of course. You need to put your phone down. And we're all in jobs where we need to check emails. I get that. Um, but you need to be a little bit disciplined. Mm. And if I have an email, I absolutely, you know, I'm waiting for, I need to see, I'll explain it to my kids, try to be open with them, say there's an annoying guy at work, he needs to contact <laughs> me. The second I hear from him, it's over, you know. Is your boss watching? <laughs> uh, <I hope> not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it seems, as we just heard from that mum, it's a bit sad that we need to use our screens to lock yeah. their screens. And then, you know, on their screen, there is a counter that says at what point their screen starts well, up again. This is the craziest thing about it. So basically, your child is sitting at the dinner table. They should be talking to you about the wonderful day they've had. And instead, they're watching what is basically a boredom clock. You know, 20 more minutes of boredom, and then I can play on my tablet again. I mean, what does that say about yeah. dinner? So what, your advice, what would your advice be to parents that are sitting at home and are having this struggle and they're facing their, their children and their children's need and desire to be using their tablets and phones? Well, my advice isn't fun. It's, you know, parenting is hard and you need to put your foot down. In my house, we just did sleep training. I have a, an almost three-year-old and she just wouldn't sleep. And we went through about three days and then two weeks of sort of slightly less, um, you know, difficulty. She cried a lot yeah. and now she's wonderful and she's so much better rested. With this, you just have to put your foot down and say, we're not having this at dinner. Limited, I mean, with children under the age of 10, I'd say, you know, an hour a day maximum and really 20 minutes. They don't need to be playing the same game over and over again. All right, Sally Peck from uh, Mother Tongue, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Good to talk to you about that.